how close did that game come to how you would have ideally drawn it up? Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, Seve set the tone um, and really came out on a mission, and I thought he threw the ball so well. Um, credit to the A's, though. They made it tough on him, and they battled him, and he was able to make some big pitches when he really needed to. Um, but, you know, it kind of really made him work hard um, to that point. So, and then Dellen, you know, we wanted Dellen for that part of the order. And uh, so I, I was willing to go to him as or obviously as early as we were and for him to go through and get us six big, big outs at that point. And then we were able to add on, which, which was nice. And, um, yeah, it rolled out pretty well. Stay there, Ron. How much going in was your game plan to have uh, Seve throwing fastballs in the first inning, then switch to uh, off-speed stuff after that? That's you know that's him and Larry and 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 the pitching plan and and how we're gonna gonna attack and you know Seve's Seve always does a good job, I think, of mixing his pitches. You know, he's going to work hard to establish his fastball. Um, you know, he's worked hard all year on, on making the changeup a factor. He didn't throw the changeup as much tonight as he has in a lot of outings this year, but he threw it enough to be effective, especially the second and third time through. Um, you know, you know, you know going up against that lineup because they're patient and they're dangerous. Um, you, you've got to be able to make your mix those pitches, and you've got to be able to throw strikes with all those pitches, and he was able to do that. Uh, we'll, we'll give you that. Uh, let's get through tonight. Uh, Billy, it's second row. Um, when uh, Dylan hasn't pitched too often where he's come in in the middle of an inning, mm -hmm. um, so w was that just he was going to face those guys no matter what, uh, you know, whether it was two outs and nobody on or... Um, not no matter what. I mean, if, you know, Seve had an opportunity to get through those guys, um, and had he done that, you know, had he, had he gotten those first two guys out, we would have, we would have stuck with Seve there, but we were prepared, um, you know, if, if a couple guys got on there and just because they were making them work so hard, we were prepared to go to Dellen if, if, if we felt like it was necessary. And, and after the first two guys got on, I believe it, it, it felt like time. I, I, I guess the other part of that then is just, I mean, a guy that hasn't been in that situation, he hasn't pitched that early in the game and that in, in coming in in the middle of an inning like that, why yeah. do you feel like that was... Because Dellen's a stud, and I wanted him facing. I told him, you know, before the game, I said, you you may be who I go to in the fourth or the fifth inning potentially um, if, if it's a part of the lineup that I want you facing in that spot. I just felt like he was the guy, and, and uh, so we got him ready for it, and, uh, and he came in and was he was lights out. Tyler? Aaron, similar to the first question, I mean, so much went right for you guys tonight. How do you think this game kind of showed off all the different ways that uh, that you can win and, and the good things about your, your your team right now? Yeah, no question. Um, you know, with with Kutch leading leading things off with a walk, work in the walk, getting on base. Uh, you know, we I talked to you guys a lot about controlling the strike zone. Kutch does that so well, and then. Judgy with a big swing and bam, all of a sudden it's two nothing, and Seve seemed to just kind of build some steam from there. And again, even though he wasn't able to get too deep into the game, he was really good for while he was in there. And I credit the A's; they 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 grinded him, they made it hard on him. And uh, so Seve pitching that way, and then you see obviously the bullpen coming in and and being as effective as they were. Um, I I think that's kind of a really good look at, you know, kind of when we're at our best right there. We did a lot of things well and, you know, <clears throat> and then got some guys in there defensively that, you know, helped things. Etch with a great play down there at third, walk to finish it off. It was nice. And just uh, also, um, you know, you've seen the Red Sox the, the postseason as a player, um, and you've seen it now as a manager during the regular season. What do you think about those guys in there? Uh, that, I mean, how are they going to respond to that setting, and, and what do you think of the matchup? Our guys? Yeah. Um, I think they can't wait. And I think they're ready and relish the opportunity to go up against the game's best this year. And obviously we're very familiar with them. Um, we, we know how good they are. 
you know, I mean, we know we have to play our best to, if we're going to have a chance to beat them. Um, you know, obviously they're they're very tough at Fenway, but um, you know, I think you, you say the same for for them probably. But I know our guys can't wait to get there and and uh, and try and get it done. Dave, second round of your life. Obviously, you spent a lot of time focusing on the A's for, for this game, but now that you passed them, was there part of you that thought maybe this was kind of destined to happen, that you were going to wind up playing the Red Sox based on the way you guys have kind of paralleled each other? I don't know. I don't I don't really go there and, you know, get caught up and we're destined, to, you know. I mean, we know who the next opponent was, and we know this is a one-game thing. And so, um you know, you're, you're confident you can get it done, but at the end of the day, it's still a winner, winner go home, one game, anything can kind of happen. So uh, you just prepare as best you can and pour everything into this one. And, and now we'll obviously sole focus on, on the Red Sox. We've got a bunch against the right wall here. Aaron, uh, Gary had a huge night behind the plate. Can you speak a little bit of uh, him managing the pitching staff, uh, calling the game, uh, blocking balls, you know, everything that goes into it. He was great. Um, <clears throat> he was a, a, a huge part of it. Um, I thought him and Seve were on a great page together. I thought he received really well. Obviously, the blocks you talked about behind there. Um, I just thought his focus and just seeing him, you know, today when he came in, just a real uh, – uh, I just loved the look in his eye and his intent and his purpose and everything was uh, just just proud of the way he was able to caught and he was again a big factor um, in, in us being able to hold down a really good offense. Take a last one from Andy and then Luis Severino's coming in. So obviously this was unique as a wild card game how you handled your pitching but going forward in the postseason could you see yourself uh, generally with a shorter leash on starters more creative use of the bullpen in ways if not an elimination game situation, still different from what we saw from you regular season. Yeah, I think it's I think it's different, um, um, but also maybe a little different from a winner go home kind of situation as well. I mean, you know, you, you, it, you know, and how much the guy threw the day before, and how how much do you really have out of individuals? You know, I mean, that's just a fluid situation every single day but but yeah i think you it's certainly different than the regular season um with with the aggression and you're willing to to push guys and to push certain relievers on a given night um yeah i mean it but it but it changes a little bit every day aaron thanks a lot okay